A public meeting this weekend was held in Hope Creek, Stan Creek, by the recently elected village council led by Chairlady Letizia Stain. The focus of the meeting was the village's water board, but specifically its members. According to the chair lady, in September, the council sent a list of recommended persons who they believe are qualified and fit to form the water board. The letter was sent to the Ministry of Rural Development, but on Wednesday, the council received an unexpected response. We received that letter on Wednesday, the 16th of October, in the afternoon, from the Rural Development Officer of Pambriga, um, Mr. Nemenzio Acosta. And none of the names that are on that list is our people that we recommended. Um, instead, they had their own names, and we as the village council, we are not happy with that. The people are not happy with that. And it is the fact that the list contains names of the UDP losing village council slate that has residents up in arms. What makes it even worse is that the names being put forward as the names of the water board are the losing candidates of the UDP in the village council elections. So it really is a slap in the face of the people of Hope Creek that the persons that they rejected at the polls are now being put in charge of the water board. So I think it is a it is really a disrespect to the Hope Creek Village Council and to the residents of Hope Creek. Kent Diaz was appointed as a chairman of the Water Board in 2017 and his term is to run for three years. The new PUP Village Council wants him to remain in that position. We've got uh, about 40, 40, 40, 45 thousand dollars you know, available in, in, in the bank account. You know, and we pretty much run off for, you know, we all pay here. I and myself, so we all support the water board, right? To take care of our water business. The term runs for three years. I've been here like two, two and a half years. And the term was supposed to be up in August, I think. But I'm just waiting for instructions on how we go about changing after the village council election the village council changed and the new council chose to want to keep me as chairman of the water board right? now, and you I'll, accept the charge well, i will because i work for the village i do it for the village you know, i got things i could do too but i do it for the village i live here i want the best for us all. Mr. Kent Diaz, we want him to remain as the chairman of the water, water board because he's doing a splendid job. I mean, if someone is doing a good job, why remove him? He was appointed by Honorable Frank Papa Mena, so why is he removing him? You know, we wrote letters to meet with Mr. Mena, but to no avail, he did not appear to our meeting, nothing at all. So we believe that he does not recognize us as the village council. Kent Diaz was appointed as a chairman of the Water Board in 2017, and his term is to run for three years. The new PUP Village Council wants him to remain in that position. But UDP Air Representative Frank Papamena will have to recognize the will of the people. 200 persons have signed a petition to support the Village Council's list. The people requested that we do a petition. Now we are elected by the people, so we have to work with the people. So we did the petition, we got over 200 names. Um, we called the public meeting, they told us to invite the media, we invited the media. Um, this is the outcome of the meeting. Um, if they, we will reply to this letter we receive with their appointees. If they remain, then we will stand beside Mr. Diaz and we will not we will tell him not to maneuver anything. The possibility that this disagreement may end up before the courts is real. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.